Worthington Industries thanks you for purchasing one of our quality CXCXR dry shippers. Before you begin charging your CXCXR product for first time use, we would like to review some general safety precautions since you'll be handling liquid nitrogen. Adding liquid nitrogen to a warm container may cause splashing and will generate a large volume of nitrogen gas when a cold liquid contacts warm shipper surfaces. Add liquid slowly to minimize these effects. Be sure there is adequate ventilation. Keep your head clear of the heavy volume of vapor that may be produced. It is extremely cold and could cause personal injury. Before filling your CX-CXR product for the first time, we recommend recording the tear weight and serial number of each container. This will give you a baseline to ensure that you have a fully charged shipper. When filling your CX-CXR product, do not overfill it. Overfilling may result in personal injury and damage to the shipper due to liquid spillage. With regular usage, moisture can accumulate in the shipper as a result of lowering a frosted canister back into the shipping cavity. This moisture will displace nitrogen in the adsorbent material on the subsequent filling and affect the overall holding time. Let's begin the charging process. Remove the unit from its shipping enclosure and remove the sample canister. After recording the tear weight of the unit to be filled, set the unit on a scale and fill the shipper to approximately halfway up the neck tube. Allow the unit to stand undisturbed while the liquid is being adsorbed. About every five minutes, add liquid to maintain the level halfway up the neck tube as the liquid is adsorbed by the filler material. This procedure can take four or more cycles. Once fully charged, replace the neck tube core and allow it to float on the liquid during the last charging cycle. Allow the shipper to stand undisturbed for 18 to 24 hours while the liquid is being adsorbed. After this point, the quantity of liquid standing in the central cavity must be quickly poured out to prevent spillage during shipment. Do not invert the container and allow liquid nitrogen to drip out. This will result in excess liquid being removed from the shipper and will shorten holding time. To assure a complete fill, the dry CX100 weight should increase by approximately 7.3 pounds or 3.3 kilograms after charging. The dry CXR100 weight should increase by approximately 6.5 pounds or 3 kilograms after charging and the dry CXR500 weight should increase by approximately 12.5 pounds or 5.7 kilograms after charging. 